So with our subject selected, we can now go back to uh, view and then choose fit on screen. I'm then going to go to my adjustments. So I'm going to pull my properties panel out here and then click on adjustments. And this time I'm going to go to the middle row, middle symbol. It's a box that's half black, half white for, well, you've guessed it, black and white. Now, when I click on that, it only changes the, uh, the currently selected item and applies the edit. So that's gone to grayscale, which is no good for us. We want that to be in color and for everything else to be in grayscale. So what we do then is um, if I just extend my properties panel down a little bit, notice that the adjustment layer that was added has come with a layer mask that has been filled. So the predominant uh, portion of that layer mask is black, so it will not reveal the black and white adjustment and the portion that's white will reveal that edit. All we need to do is go to your properties panel and click on the symbol for masking. Left click on that. It's always a square with the circle inside. And then in here, as long as you've got a nice empty portion in this properties panel, because it can be hidden like that, that button disappears. Do make sure that that properties panel has been pulled down long enough and then click on invert and it now swaps it around. So we've now got the makings of a good focal point in this image now. Uh, from here, I can go back. I can click on the adjustment options itself, not the layer mask. And we're given a series of sliders for the reds, the yellows, green, cyan, blues, and magentas. You could drag these to the right to brighten them, to the left to darken them, however you see fit. You could even go to our friend target adjustment tool here, click on that, and then hover over a color click and hold down the mouse and just drag to the left to darken those colors down or drag to the right to brighten them up. You could probably be quicker to go to the preset drop down menu and you can choose from these options in here. Um, there is one called maximum black, which um, will be quite intense. Um, there's maximum white, which would go the opposite end. You know, so it, it really depends what you want to go for. You could always click on auto. That doesn't do too bad a job. It might then just mean that I go back to my target adjustment tool, hover over those uh, remaining orange bags that have now been turned grayscale, just make them a little bit darker. And then possibly some of these bags over here are a bit too dark. So I'm going to drag those and brighten up a little bit in there. And that's not too bad. We've got a nice uh, kind of contrast between our orange for our bag and a kind of nice grayscale in there for the other bags as well. With that done now, we could use that in a layout. We could align some text to it. We could have that as almost like a focal point and align uh, text and other components to it in our magazine layouts and things like that. But that's a great way of being able to draw a reader's eye to one visible area of an image. Now, of course, we have generated a document with more than one layer, so that will need to be saved in the working folder as a PSD before you close it down.